Hey YouTube, it's Dave from DroneReviewsAndNews.com and today I have exceptional news for you. We are the first on the internet to tell you about these not rumored features, but factual features of the Mavic Air 2 and they're going to blow your mind. So we're going to timestamp this April 14th, 2020 and it is 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Check this out. Okay guys, welcome back. We are absolutely lit on coffee, but we are even more lit by the features that we've uncovered over this past weekend on the all new Mavic Air 2. This is a Mavic Air original, and this has a lot to tell us in its FCC filings compared to the new Mavic Air 2. So here's the deal, I'm gonna walk you through these. Uh, I encourage you to watch the video all the way through because these features are going to be, uh, you've not seen them before, uh, in some of the DJI drones that have been released lately. And one of these features you've never seen at all in a DJI drone. So here we go. So first things first, um, I wanted to go over battery life. We did the math, you know, comparing capacity with aircraft weight and seeing how you arrive at uh, flight time. And the original Mavic 2 series beep, is a 31 minute battery life. Uh, the new upcoming Autel Evo 2 has a 40 minute battery life. So we know in 2020 that no one can release a battery for a drone that has less than 30 minutes, but we've done the math. The original Mavic Air had 2,375 milliamps of battery capacity uh, against a 430 gram aircraft weight. So that gives us a 21 minute flight time. So knowing the capacity of the new Mavic Air 2 battery, uh, we can do the math and what we arrive at is we come to that same 31 minute flight time that the Mavic 2 series has. So that's a plus. You know, flight time has gone up from uh, I think 21 minutes in the Mavic Air uh, to 31 minutes in the Mavic Air 2. But that calculation assumes that there have been no improvements since the Mavic Air was released in 2018 as far as aircraft weight, electronic speed controls, and even stripping off features that it doesn't need like these folding antennas on the side of the Mavic Air. We think the Mavic Air 2 could have a battery life as high as 35 minutes, which is absolutely phenomenal, and still puts it in the, in the realm of competing with the Autel Evo 2. Not in all of the features, but uh, that's one of the things that has to constantly advance. So the Mavic Air 2 has a battery that has 90% of the capacity of the Mavic 2 series, but in a way lighter and smaller body. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out as far as actual flight time goes. Okay, next feature up is obstacle avoidance. So in all of the photos that we've uh, received that have been leaked on the internet about the Mavic Air 2, the one that we're most interested in is right here. So if you look at that photo that we received, I'm just gonna put that out there. So that's how the photo looks basically in the leaked photo, but we wanna reveal the curtain and we wanna see what's behind this motor on the Mavic Air 2. There is a good chance that the Mavic Air 2 will have side obstacle avoidance and you'll understand why in a few minutes once I get to some of the real details that no one else knows about on the Mavic Air 2. So there's no top sensor that we know of on the Mavic Air 2 that we know of. But if you're going to have an advanced drone, like the Mavic Air 2 coming out, you will probably want omnidirectional obstacle avoidance just because of the other features that come with it. So what are those features? Well, first of all, we studied the FCC test results for the Mavic Air 2, the Mavic 2 series, and the original Mavic Air. And here's what we can tell you right now in full fact. Mavic Air 2 has OcuSync 2.0. The original Mavic Air did not. It had a Wi-Fi signal that only operated across uh, eight channels. But if you read the filings on the Mavic 2 series, which is OcuSync 2.0, you see that it has 115 channels that it operates across on both the 2.4 and 4.8 gigahertz spectrum. Mavic Air 2 is almost identical. It doesn't have the eight channel Wi-Fi that the Mavic Air had. It has 113 channels across the 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. And that tells us that it's 
uh, OcuSync 2.0, a far superior signal strength. The drone is automatically detecting interference in the signal, automatically switching quickly in real time between 2.4 and 5.8 across a spectrum of channels, and it's going to give you a ton more confidence as a drone pilot, especially in urban environments where Wi-Fi runs into a ton of interference and just sucks. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, the next feature that kind of goes hand in glove with that is there are two models of Mavic Air 2 coming. That's right. That's not a rumor. That's not uh, speculation on my part. It's an absolute fact. You can see it on page one of the test report. Uh, the first model is MA2UE1N, and the other one is MA2UE3W. Now, the 1N model uh, is the basic drone, and the M, sorry, the E3W has a built-in ADS-B RF circuit for receiving uh, flight information from any helicopter or aircraft that's in the air area that is broadcasting an ADS-B transponder signal. Uh, now what that means is it's going to be able to detect and possibly avoid other aircraft that are in its known airspace or at least alert the operator that such aircraft are in the airspace and they need to take caution. Now what this also means is there's likely going to be an all-new app in the flight controller and the smartphone for the Mavic Air 2 RF version. Um, be, sorry, I say RF, I mean ADS-B. Um, the old DJI Go 4 app that we're all used to flying in our regular drones um, and the DJI Fly app, none of these have any drones in the stable that have any capacity that relates to ADS-B, and they never will. So it's unlikely that DJI would update DJI Go 4 uh, for one drone to accommodate this ADS-B signal. So we think there's going to be a new app for the Mavic Air. So those are the known features. OcuSync 2.0, ADS-B in one version, and non-ADS-B in the other. We're probably going to have a new app. Uh, we know what the battery life looks like. Did I say OcuSync 2.0? I just can't get over that. That's absolutely incredible. Seems like camera specs these days are the least of everyone's concerns uh, because all these other features are so cool. And the ability that we have in post-processing, whether in photo or in video, to enhance and even upscale the quality of the video, seems to, it doesn't seem to matter that much. Uh, in fact, when we took the Mavic Mini up to Red Rock Canyon just outside Las Vegas in January, uh, CES 2020 was over, we had some extra time, so we went up there, we took, we took both drones, and this is the one that we ended up flying all the time, because it was so much fun. And we did a recent survey on the internet of the quality of the photos that came from the Mini versus the Mavic 2, and for some reason, the majority of people actually favored the photos that came from the Mavic Mini. That, that could just be a whole pile of variables. variables but um, So we expect the camera of the new Mavic Air 2 is going to rhyme a lot with the cameras that DJI has already brought out in the last two years. We're probably looking at 12 megapixel stills, uh, 4K at 30 frames per second. For some reason, DJI has struggled with getting a camera that shoots 4K at 60. So if this drone that's coming out now, the Mavic Air 2, is shooting 4K 60, which we highly doubt, uh, then it's going to make it a lot more attractive than to someone who's using the Mavic 2 Pro, uh, which we don't think is, is very likely. So we've got uh, a release date of April 27th that's probably in flux. They haven't sent the invites out yet or the online notifications to us. Um, the second thing is with two drones, we're going to have two price points. We expect Mavic Air basic version is $799. Mavic Air 2 with the ADS-B could be as high as 949. Uh, we'll get confirmation of that shortly as well. And then there will be the Fly More kit. It's probably going to be priced around 299. It's going to have the extra batteries, extra props, charging hub, and things like that in it. Uh, carry bag. But that's the details so far. Um, do want to share if we we are probably drawing in the next day or two. Actually, by the time you see this, uh, we're probably ready to draw. We are giving away either a Osmo Action or a DJI Osmo Pocket to one of our subscribers. So if you're one of our first thousand, uh, you could win one of those probably in the next 24 hours. So look below, hit that like button, 
and be sure to subscribe because you're going to want to know all the details as they emerge on all the upcoming drones, including the Autel Evo 2. But once we're past 1,000, we're going to start up a whole new giveaway, uh, and it's going to be a really great surprise what comes up in that one. So ask us what questions you have in the comments, guys. Let us know below. Are you going to buy the Mavic Air 2? Are you interested in ADS-B? And does OcuSync 2.0 in this new generation of folding armed compact quadcopter, does it change what you were thinking of buying in any upcoming drone purchases? Let us know in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.